and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked up uh, this week. So I think let's just go through these one by one and then we'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have a Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight. We have a Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight. We have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato, a Scribo Phil in the Verde Bosco, a Scribo Phil in the Blue Grey, a Scribo Phil in the Blue Black, a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl, a Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue, a Pelican M800 Grand Plus, and a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. So let's look at these in a little bit more detail. So this is, for me, the stunning Pelican M1000 Raden Starlight. So you'll see here that this has a lot of stars or gold dust going on. And there are windows of Raden in this uh, pen, so in the cap and in the body there. But this, for me, is an absolute stunning pen. I do like this a lot. It's a Pelican M1000, so it's the larger of the models. Uh, I think Pelican call it the flagship model. Uh, but this is a really beautiful um, pen. So this actually comes with a very large number 8 size Pelican M1000 nib with a very large ABS plastic feed there. It's a piston filling pen. But this is also quite a light pen in comparison to other pens I have. It's not the lightest of sure, but it's still quite a light pen for me. But I like writing with it. I like writing with it a lot. And I just love this, this material. You can just see there as that material. It just really looks lovely. The next pen that I have inked up is the Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight. Now, I know some people prefer the Starlight and some people prefer the Sunlight. I actually like both a lot and I always thought I liked this one better in uh, over the previous years before I was able to pick this one up or pick both of them up actually. But for me, I would say that the Starlight probably is the one that I like a little bit more but I do like this sunlight as well. And you can see the signature there of the Mackie artist. The, these are Mackie, they are Warden pens. And again, just like the Starlight, this is a Pelican M1000. And it has a Pelican M1000 number 8 size nib. Now, these are medium nibs. And these Warden versions all come with medium nibs only you can unscrew the nib and swap them out if you so choose to i actually find the medium nib writes really nicely for me so i just leave the medium nib in there and actually i don't actually have an m1000 nib in a different nib width the mediums write more like a broad nib western broad so if i wanted a broad nib it would probably be a real marker of a pen and uh, I probably could go for maybe an extra fine or a fine nib and it might actually be a little bit more narrower um, but I do like these medium nibs, I like them a lot. The next pen I have inked up is the Scribo Phil and this is a limited edition and this is the Verde Prato so you can see the Scribo logo there and then the Scribo there as well uh, this is a limited edition one, and uh, you'll see here it says fill the writing on the cap band, uh, and then Scribo. Now this is a ruthenium trim, so it's a dark, sort of a black trim. And likewise the nib is a dark nib as well, with, uh, this is a, a Scribo Extra Flexibile nib, or Extra Flex nib, 14 karat gold nib, and it's a medium nib with a ebonite feed or feeder there. And these just really are a nice size for me. I like the size, the weight. Um, it's a piston filling pen, so it holds around a milliliter of ink. It's just, they write very nicely for me. The next pen I have inked up again is another Scribo Phil and this is 
again the Verde, but this is the Bosco. So this comes with more of a sort of a a yellowy or sort of I think it's a yellowy gold rather than a rose gold sort of uh, trim there. But I do like this a lot, and for me, I just find that this is a really nice green colour as well. So you can see all the greens there, and again this is a 14 karat gold uh, extra flex nib or the extra flexor bele nib it's a medium nib with an ebonite feed or feeder and again it's just they they feel very nicely in my hands and i love writing with these i love that these at least a 14 cat gold flex nibs actually have quite a bounce to them like the old Omas Extra Flesser Bile nibs and then I have two more Scribo fills and this is just the blue grey one which I got before these uh, two here and again you've got the Scribo logo and again this is a ruthenium black trim and it's again a faceted hourglass pen like these two are because it's got a ruthenium trim there it's got a ruthenium colored nib even though it's a 14 karat gold nib and again it's the flex nib with an ebonite feed or feeder but these just write very well for me and then one more Scribo feel, and this is the blue black, which is a, it's a very dark blue. Uh, you might just be able to see that on camera. A lot of time, it looks a little bit more like a black pen. This has a rhodium trim and a rhodium plated nib, but again, it's a 14 karat gold medium flex nib with an ebonite feed there. But I just love these. I love the Scribo feel. I love the size. I love the weight. And it's not a heavy pen, but and I do like heavy pens, but I do like larger pens, and it's not an oversized pen in comparison to, say, some of my larger pens, like, I don't know, maybe an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra, or maybe even a, a Danny Trio that I have. So, for me, these are nice-sized pens, and I just love writing with them a lot. And then for some smaller pens... We have this Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. And you can see there is a lot of dark areas, but also a lot of light areas in this material. And I like this. I like this a lot. I know a lot of people would prefer to see this pattern all the way around. Yeah, I guess possibly I, I would. But for me, I'd like to see some of the dark areas. I think it then accentuates when you start seeing that lighter chatoyance area there coming to play. But this is a Pelican M805, so this, if I show you the difference there, it's actually a little bit smaller, but it's also thinner than the Pelican M1000. It also has a Pelican M800 size nib, so this is a number 6 size nib, whereas the M1000 is a number 8 size nib. Also still has an ABS plastic feed. Uh, but again, it holds probably around about a milliliter of ink, maybe a little bit less. But these are very good workhorse pens. The nibs, although 18 karat gold, tend to be on the firmer side, whereas the M1000 nibs tend to be more on the bouncy side, even though they're both 18 karat gold nibs. And then we have the Pelican M805, and this is the Vibrant Blue, and this is, again, a really lovely material there. You can see sort of a cracked ice effect going on and it's also actually translucent as well you can see the nib slightly through there through that material uh, it is a pelican m800 series so again it has a number six size pelican nib uh, and uh, these these are actually broad nibs actually in these m800s or m805s i have um, but this is uh, actually a very good workhorse writing pen for me so if I want a workhorse writing pen even if it's got a stiff nib I tend to go for the pelicans more because I do like how they write 
or I will go with maybe a pen that has a Yovo still nib in it. And then I also have this one inked up and this is the Pelican and this is the M800. So the 800 designates a gold trim and the 805 designates a rhodium or silver colored trim. So again, this is the Pelican finial there. This pattern though is really lovely. And this is a lot of like brown and blue swirls. It actually reminds me of actually looking at the Earth from a topographical perspective, maybe from a helicopter, and you have these windy rivers, and it just really looks nice for me. So, again, this has a, a Pelican M800 size nibs, number six size nib. It's a broad nib with an ABS plastic feed. Uh, these sections tend to be thinner than, and, and the pens, thinner than the M1000s, but uh, I tend to hold them up a little bit more on the threads where the pen starts to get a little bit more thicker than right the way down here. But I find that these write very, very well, and they're very good workhorse pens for me. And then last but not least, we have the Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. Now this has diffusion bonded acrylic and what does that mean well this acrylic every little piece here that you see that is horizontal here on the pen or horizontal in this dimension is actually a sheet of acrylic and it's pressed together under immense pressure to forge it into one at the molecular level and then they cut it the other way so that you have it, it sort of almost like in a circle effect going round the pen but this material really is a stunning material this material is I believe only in classic pens or Lambru pens and these are really lovely material I absolutely love the flame red and I still wish I could get it in an LB5 but there are very few LB5s out there for sale, and the ones that are tend to be pretty expensive. So at the moment, I'm happy to have it in an LM1. Uh, I have had a lot of people ask me, would I sell the LM1? And actually, I would. Honestly, I would. But only if I could get an LB5 in the flame red version. If I can't get that, then I wouldn't sell the LM1. So, if anybody has an LB5 out there in the red, do let me know, because I might be interested, providing you're not looking for an insane price on it. But, these are really nice pens, and I do like it, I like it a lot, so I have that one inked up again this week. And, the difference between the LM1 and the LB5 is the LB5 is actually made by Sailor for classic pens, and it has a Sailor king of pen number eight size nib where this just has a regular bock number six size nib so that's all of my currently inked pens for this week i think let's go and do a writing sample so the first pen i have inked up is a pelican m1000 Raden starlight so let's do an ink swatch here And you'll see here that this nib is actually quite a broad nib for a medium nib and also quite a wet writer. So this is the Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight. And it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. Let's And the ink in here is Pilot Aroshizuku Inner Ho, which is the closest I found to a gold ink where it doesn't have any shimmer in it or even sheen as well. The next pen is the Pelican M1000 Varden Sunlight. So we'll do another ink swatch here. Now, this nib tends to not write as wet, 
or as quite as broad. So this is a Pelican M1000 Raden Sunlight and it's a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Franklin Christoph Sweet Maroon which is quite a nice red or maroon coloured ink. The next pen is a Scribo Fill in the Verde Prato. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is a medium nib, but it's the 14 karat gold flex nib. So this is a Scribo Fill in the Verde Prato and it's a medium uh, 14 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Arashizuku and it's Chikurin which is a bit of a, a very light sort of green colour I probably wouldn't call it grass green um, it's a little bit hard to actually describe that green I would say the next pen is a Scribo Fill in the Verde Bosco we'll do an ink swatch here now this is a much darker green and again, 14 karat gold flex nib. So this is the Scribo fill in the Verde Bosco in a medium 14 karat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Akamon and it's number 27 Bazurden Woods Gron, which is a really nice green ink. The next pen is a Scribo Fill in the blue grey. We'll do an ink swatch here. That it's quite a nice grey ink there. So this is a Scribo fill in the blue grey in a medium 14 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Eroshizuku Kiri Sami which is a quite a nice grey ink. The next pen here is the Scribo Fill in the blue black. So we'll do an ink swatch. Again, this is quite a wet nib. So it's a Scribo Fill in the blue black in a medium 14 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Oroshizuku and it's uh, Kajaku the next pen here is a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl so we'll do an ink swatch here Now, I do find this ink a little bit more drier as well. So this is the Pelican M805 
ocean swell and it's a medium 18 cat actually it's not a medium it's a broad 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is diamine marine which is a bit of a um, turquoisey coloured ink the next pen is the Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this tends to be a little bit more of a wetter writer, uh, I find, compared to the Ocean Swirl. And maybe the ink is part of that. So it's a Pelican M805. And it's the, not the Ocean, it's the Vibrant Blue. And it is a broad, again, 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Diamine Azza Blue, which for me also is a very nice blue ink. The next pen is a Pelican M800 Grand Plus. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is another brown ink that I like quite a lot. And this is a Pelican M800 Grand Plus. And it's a broad 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Jehaban. Or I think now it's actually called just Herban, and it's Lee Dutte. So they went through a little bit of a branding exercise in I think late 2019. But that's a lovely brown ink. And then last but not least, we have the classic pens LM1 in the flame red. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I do find that this is actually quite a wet writing nib as well. It's a Bock number no. 6 size nib. So this is the classic pens. LM1 in the flame red. And it's a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Blackstone. Yuluru red but for me that's that's also a nice red ink that I like writing with a lot so I think let's go through these inked up pens one more time we have a Pelican M1000 Raden Starlight in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot of Washizuku in a hoe we have a Pelican M1000 Raden Sunlight in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Franklin Christoph Sweet Maroon. We have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato in a medium 14 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Oroshizuku Chiku Rin. We have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Bosco in a medium 14 karat gold nib inked up with Akamon 27 Bazudan Woodgrown. We have a Scribo Phil in the Blue Grey in a medium 14 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Oroshizuku Kirisami. We have a Scribo Phil in the Blue Black in a medium 14 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Oroshizuku Kujaku. We have a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl in a broad 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Marine. We have a Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue in a broad 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine as a blue. We have a Pelican M800 Grand Plus in a broad 18 karat gold nib inked up with Jehaban Lidete. And last but not least, we have a Classic Pens LM1 Flame Red in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Blackstone Yuluru Red. So there are my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.